Hi scholars, today we are going to talk about some geometry concepts. This is TEAG 4.6a. It says, I can identify points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, perpendicular and parallel lines. So I'm going to talk about each one step by step and then we will look at some examples together. Okay, let's learn about angles now. Now if you notice in this definition, it has the word rays, which we talked about. A ray is a line with a point and it keeps on going in the other direction. Or there's also the word line segment, which is a part of a line joined by two points. Okay, so it, an angle is two rays, so it's like saying you have this and this connected, okay? Or two line segments, so you could have this and this connected, okay? They're, they both share the same end point. This is their end point right here. The shared end point is called the vertex, so this right here is a vertex, this right here is a vertex. You kind of sometimes call those like the pointy part. That's fine too, but the geometrical, the geometry term is called a vertex. So let's, let's look at an angle with these. So if you have two line segments or two rays and you connect them, they're sharing the same end point right here. So here is my angle. I can have a very tiny angle like the space inside can be very small, or it can be like this, or it can be very, very huge, like this. It can also be like this. This is still considered an angle. Okay, so let's look at some angles and how you would write it. So again, it is two rays connected, or two line segments that share the same endpoint. So if these are my two rays or line segments and they have the same endpoint, the endpoint is called a vertex. This would be the vertex. So right here, or it could be like much smaller, it could be very wide, or it could be very wide open, like that. Okay? Notice the Q is where the vertex is. This is very important. That's why I underlined it in red because when you write it, you draw an angle and you write PQR. Your vertex must be, the vertex letter must be in the middle because that tells people you are starting here, this is the end point of your angle, and then that's the other side. So angle PQR, 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 PQR. You can also read it the other way. Angle RQP, angle RQP, angle RQP, angle RQP. Notice that I underlined the middle the vertex one in red, so you can see this one is, the Q is always in the middle of both of them. If you just make up a random order like QPR, that actually creates a whole different kind of angle. If you were to say angle QPR, then you're saying basically that the angle looks like this. and that's not what we're talking about. So we, can, we can't do that. You can also just call it angle Q. That lets people know this is the angle part of it. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at this first one. We know it's an angle because there's two rays connected sharing the same endpoint. This is my endpoint, so that means that has to be in the middle. So when I write it, I'm going to draw an angle and write angle M, N, O. 
the end in the middle. Or you can write angle O N N. As long as N is in the middle. Let's look at the next one. I know this is an angle because it's two rays connected. This can be angle R S T or angle T S R or even angle S. Sorry, this this top one here can also be angle N. Okay, let's look at some more examples. This, the C is in the middle, so it's going to be angle A C B or angle B C A or angle C. This one doesn't have anything over here, so you would just call it angle X. Okay, let's learn the different kinds of angles. The first kind of angle we're going to talk about is a right angle. This is what a right angle looks like. Actually, there are many ways. A right angle can also be this way. A right angle can also be like this. A right angle can be like this or like this. Here's what it looks like with the sticks. So I'm going to make my angle connecting two rays or line segments and it can only do this. See how I'm flipping it around? And then this one would fit like right there or it would be right there. Okay. You will learn about this later but it also makes a 90 degree angle. You'll learn about that with protractors later. So you know that it's a right angle when you can create a square in the corner. So this has to be completely straight. This one's kind of hard. I didn't make it really neat. Same with this one. And then that right there, here, or here. Okay, the next one is an acute angle. An acute angle is smaller than a right angle. What I did was I underlined right angle in red, and I want you to see that I drew my right angle. This is just, this is this example that we just learned about. So an acute angle would be smaller than that. So what I did was in blue dashes, I just kind of drew all the different kind of acute angles that could be a right, that could be less than a right angle. See, a right angle, this is its only option. This is the only thing it can be. You can turn it, okay, but that's it. An acute angle is going to be smaller than that, which means if a right angle is 90 degrees, then an acute angle would be less than 90 degrees, but it has to be more than zero degrees. So here is my right angle. Here's an acute angle. Here's another acute angle, another acute angle, acute, acute, acute. All of this is considered an acute angle. And it's all less than 90 degrees. Now if you come to this, then that's zero degrees. That's not an angle. Or there's no visible angle, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Okay, the next one is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than a right angle. So again, same thing, I underlined right angle in red, so you can see the right angle that we I created. So if an acute angle is kind of like over here in this area, it's going to be less than 90 degrees. Obtuse is greater than a right angle, so it's going to be more than 90 degrees. But it's going to be less than 180, which I'll talk about in the next video. So here are all the possibilities for an obtuse angle. Now, like I told you, an, a right angle can only be this. It can be turned, it can be moved around like that, but that's a right angle. An acute can be anything here in that range. So obtuse would be here, 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 and that's probably as good as it can get. It can't be completely flat lined. That's actually a different kind of angle. So that's probably as far as an obtuse angle goes. 
This last one is really easy. It's called a straight angle. It is 100 degree, 180 degrees only, and it forms a straight line, basically. So, if this was our angle, this would be a, this would be no angle, basically. I'm trying to match up my vertex with the vertex here. So this is like no angle, acute, 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 acute. Then it stops here, so that would be a 90 degree angle, which is a right angle. So if I had a right angle here and a right angle here, right? This is 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees. 90 plus 90 equals, you guessed it, 180. So you would have obtuse, which is more than 90. Obtuse, 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 obtuse. And then at that point, you'd have 180 degrees. And that would be a straight angle. Checkpoint time. I'm going to show you a bunch of different angles and I want you to press pause, tell me which ones they are, and explain how you know. So press pause right now after I show you these angles. Okay, let's start with this one. This one is obtuse. I'm going to put it that way so you can see it is clearly wider than a 90 degree angle. You can even kind of like put like the corner of this paper is a 90 degree angle so you can do that and check and see how it's kind of sticking out so that makes it obtuse. This one definitely acute. You can um, use the corner of a piece of paper again like this you just put that on top you can see that this is your 90 degree angle and then your acute angle is obviously in that smaller general area this one definitely a right angle I can even do that so you can see it this one is acute this one here obtuse for sure this one acute smaller than a 90 degree angle this one is straight this one's a little tricky. It looks obtuse, but when you turn it, it's actually a right angle. So you gotta be careful. 